Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to share with you another card that I created a little while ago. I actually made this back in April. You can see I used another one of those Perfect Panda stamps that I got free in a magazine. I can't think, I think it was one of those Simply Cards and Paper Craft magazines. I used my Tim Holtz stamping platform to stamp it with some VersaFine ink. And as always, I can never stamp it properly, so I've had to do that more than once. And I really liked this, what, this panda with the balloon. This is for my friend John. He's one of my closest friends and he absolutely loves pandas so I tend to make everything panda for him and if you saw the panda cards recently that I made the first one that I made that was for his daughter so I sort of tried to use the same stamps to kind of link them um, I just used my favorite scissors my Fiskars to fussy cut the panda but because that ink sometimes bleeds I just held it with a tissue just to stop thumbprints getting on it I have a habit of doing this by the way just putting down my stamps and then marking them there was this winter wonderland stamp set and i found a little happy birthday sentiment which is i think is the one i used on some of the other cards as well and i really liked that one so i've used that here i'm just stamping it again and you'll notice when i cut out the panda i actually cut the balloon off and that's because i've got a, a different plan for that so yeah so i stamped out the happy birthday and then i'm going to just take some time now to trim it down this is literally what I do in every card, I think. I need to find some new little techniques. I just trim it down to a really long strip and then I make banners either side. I really like the effect of this, to be fair, but I do think it's time for me to think of some new things as well. Um, The background... Oh, sorry, the balloons. So I've got this little die from a Sizzix set and I use loads of little colours of foam and I cut out loads of balloons. I just use my die cutting machine. I've got... Oh, Sizzix Big Shot. Then this blue background is from some Tesco card that Kaj sent me in a, in a swap. And I used the pink for his daughter's card, so I thought that kind of matched quite nicely. But this time I'm doing a 5 by 7 card. So I've just trimmed down the blue and I've trimmed down some holographic silver as a mat. Normally I'm, I stick one on top and then trim around it. I'm not really sure why I did it this way around this time. So yes, yeah, so I'm just going to adhere the silver card down to a white card blank and then I'm putting the blue card just on top just trimming it slightly because it's a little bit too big just using my double sided tape to do that so then I started playing around with the sort of position of everything and sort of seeing how I wanted it to, to kind of sit so I knew I wanted the balloons to be a bit 3D which is why I cut them out of foam I thought that would be kind of cool rather than just the little stamped one but then I decided to go that little bit extra and I cut loads of black thread and then I'm going to use a little bit of double sided tape on the back of each balloon and I stuck a piece of thread to every balloon so that it could actually look like the panda was holding them so they were like a proper bunch I just like making the cards a little bit more interactive rather than completely flat. So then I started placing down all of the balloons. Tried to make sure that the tape I put on the back of each foam balloon went over the thread as well. Just because then I thought it would hold it in place a little bit better. So I do move these quite a lot I think actually. I just try to make it nice and colourful as well. Because it is a birthday card after all. And you'll see I've kind of hidden that blue balloon and I'm pretty sure I unpeel them all a little bit and stick it on the top because it just looked a bit odd. There I am, I've got to unpeel all the balloons, pull the blue one back out, stick it in the middle and then put the yellow and orange ones over the top. I kind of put the yellow and orange ones at the front because I thought they were the brightest colours. I thought they looked better. This is a little bit too long for where I wanted to put it so I've just trimmed the edges a little bit more. Just made the flag banner a little bit shorter and I've used some foam tape to pop this up just to give it a little bit of dimension as it's going over several layers and then I wanted it to look like the panda was holding the thread so what I did is I kind of cut around its hand and made like a little bit of a slit there and then fed the, th the thread through and then realised sort of they didn't how do I put it they didn't go in the right order so the the blue balloon the one in the middle needed to kind of be on top the thread so I've just pulled that one out separately so I've put foam tape on the back of the panda and I'm just sticking it down so I'm slightly off the frame. Just takes me ages to unpick all of these. So I've just popped the panda there and then I've put the threads through into its little hand. And then just pulled that last one through so it was really neat. And then any that just sort of didn't sit right I'd pull back out and then re-thread. And then I've just trimmed the threads down a little bit. 
and then I've just used this glue I tried to use this glue pen and it was rubbish so I ended up using the Tombow glue and just stuck the threads down a little bit just so they wouldn't come out at all but left the edges kind of a little bit flappy um, you see I randomly put a sticker there basically the corner was missing something and I was sort of showing Matt all these different things that I had and eventually I decided to go for these little presents that came in the Winter Wonderland set so I just stamped them onto some scrap card that I had just stamped a few different ones so a couple of that rectangle one and then I've got a couple of this one here with like the gift bow on the top because I didn't know how many I'd need so I just stamped a few chuck the stamp back and then I just fussy cut out all of the presents. Now I don't think I've left all that footage in. I do think, or I hope, that I've cut that down slightly. I don't think you want to see me cut out five different presents. But you can see how that smudges that ink if it's not fully dry. So again, I've just grabbed the tissue just to hold them. There we go. So I've cut them all out now. And now I'm going to fiddle with them for ages because I didn't know how many I needed, how many I wanted. And I kept fiddling and fiddling. Showed Matt. Eventually I just went with two. So... <laughs> colouring um stamping out five was a bit of a waste of time but yeah i've got these paper mania pens the sort of holographic like metallic so i just went through and coloured in the little presents so i chose to do pink background on this present and i think i did a gold bow on this one or silver i can't remember we'll see <laughs> it's been so long since i made this card and then i made a green present on this one just pick kind of my favorite colors Plus I didn't want blue because obviously the background's blue. I think that's the other colour of these pens that I've got. I think they're Paper Mania pens. They're that or Dovecraft, I can't sure. Can't see on the barrel. I don't, oh look, Dovecraft. I think I've got these on um, Amazon actually, these metallic markers. That or the range, I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, so I've done a silver bow on this one. And then on the other one I did a gold bow. Now you can see that these pens are so thick that they do cover up the black slightly which is a bit unfortunate when you're doing because obviously these stamps had that kind of like dot detailing down the ends and so part of me wishes I'd kind of use some something else to colour them I ended up getting a sharpie and just going back over all the black just to make it stand out a little bit more because as I say the, the kind of pens had bled slightly so it's not perfect but it does it does go over them a bit it does make the lines a little bit darker so it was worth doing at least. So then I think I just used regular tape for the presents. I don't think I used, um, no, I didn't use foam tape. I just used regular, oh no, I've used regular tape on the green one. And then I used a little bit of foam on the pink one just to make that one stand out a little bit more. And that was the end of the card. So thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.